Nicely. Hey everybody, I'm Fix. And I'm Banana. Welcome to Unbox Heroes. So here on Unbox Heroes, we're going to be doing a lot of unboxing, sort of card opening stuff. You get in frame. My gosh. <laughs> so we are the father-daughter duo. We are going to be having so much fun with this, but got some parcels here that we do need to open uh, this is stuff that I did get over the weekend last weekend from eBay and hopefully hopefully it's going to be some good stuff so Hannah's going to open that one first okay. let's carefully carefully <laughs> please do not want to damage this stuff <laughs> it's so big. Give me that. 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 Ah. Anyway. So much sellotape. Jeez, man, that's a lot of sellotape. Are you alright getting that? That was actually pretty easy. Though. Did you want to show everybody? Put it up to the camera. Come on. <laughs> so a lot much of sellotape. sellotape. <laughs> you got that bit of my hand. Oh, right. This is when you need a wee paper knife or something, a wee letter knife. Gosh, I'm, I'm happy they wrapped it up so much, but at the same time, Too much stuff. oh no, it's not what I thought it was. Oh. It is only one card. Carefully, carefully. Is it? It was. Oh, it's all of them. What? All right. So they've even wrapped it up even more into cardboard. Careful, careful. Um, I'm going to actually need to get a knife for these. So put them. Put that there. Okay. okay so it looks like we've got all of our cards apart from that one. You want to try and open that one. I don't know what that one is then. I'm going to need to go and get a wee knife for Did these. you get any individual packets? Just like actual packets? No. Alright, so first one, probably the easiest one to actually see, is this beautiful little card right here. Oh. Can't get it in frame. Oh my gosh. Now. Hannah has asked just the perfect question. What is so special about this one? It's a first edition. Right. So this is one of the first cards ever made. Okay. Of the fossil set. One of the most iconic and sought after sets above base set. This was one of three sets before the year 2000. Okay. And if you look very closely, the camera will go in. Down here it says nineteen ninety nine Wizards. So it was made in nineteen ninety nine. So this was a nineteen ninety nine set. So that card was made in nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Twenty one years old this card is. Wow. Twenty one year old. Beautiful card. And it is one of the first of our collection where our goal is to try and collect well one of my goals is I don't know if you're joining me in this goal <laughs> but it is to collect every single card that has been made and last night I looked on my checklist spreadsheet and there is 26,000 cards in circulation and that includes all variants of the cards so like reverse hollows and stuff like that that is probably one of my favourite cards for a long while at the moment. Because it is Fossil Set. I love the Fossil Set. I love the Team Rocket Set. And that just looks absolutely amazing. Right, so... Next sets are these ones here. We've got a promo set. We've got the number four Black Star promo up there. See it? Okay. Yeah, we've got that. And the Pikachu. Now this is for the, the actual Pokemon first movie back in the year 2000. This was one of the promo cards for it. 
and it's the black star chrome one as you can see only problem is there is a lot of damage down at the bottom here seems to have been placed in a stand by the looks of it and squished so there's a lot of damage so i'm reckoning yeah on the side it's crinkled and all that as well up the top here there's a wee chip mark sort of looking thing just squished in uh, the back of the card again is very very damaged so i'm gonna try and get the camera to focus so i'm thinking possibly a five or a four psa grade on that card but nonetheless it is a lovely card anyway next card i got another pokemon movie promo card this is the number five promo card of the wizards of coast black star promo as you can see dragonite and you've got the gold foil pokemon wizards the Oh, there's a bit damage on there too. Oh yeah, and just a wee tiny bit. Marks there. Up and here, to be mark here. There. There's a wee couple of scuffs, but they're not as bad as what I've seen in a lot of the cards. We've got some down here as well. Back of the card, looking fairly well. A bit of whitening. A wee black spots. Card has not really been looked after, which is annoying. But for... What was it? Five pounds per card. I'm not complaining. Not only that, as it looks, it could be a possible five, possible six PSA grade as well. Which is absolutely amazing. Loving it. Another Black Star promo. Can I do this one? And our final Black Star promo that we actually got is, is um, Mew. Over there. They're learning the ropes, yeah. So we got Mew Black Star promo. This is actually what pulled me into this eBay bid. If I had not seen this thing, I would not have went for it because of the damage. It's this card that got me. If I can pop a price up, I'll show you what it's selling for just now. So let's see the damage. There is a wee bit of scuff just here. Maybe you can get that in there. A wee bit there. It's not well. too bad. Not too bad. The back looks fairly, fairly promising as well. No, very, very little whitening. Little, 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 yeah, a wee tiny bit at the bottom there. To be honest, I can see this in a 7 or an 8 grade. Which is really, really good. Especially for a 20 year old. Yeah, 20 year old card. 1999 2000 Wizard. In the bottom there. Oh, 20 year old card. So they're my three oh. Black Star promos to add to our collection. They were £5 each per card. Really, really well bought, and I don't even think I would be selling them. Probably the Pikachu because of the damage, but I'd probably give that away for pennies. Right, so next one up, we've got. This card, this lovely little card here. Uh, if we can get it out nice and neat. Alright, so let's take a wee look at the back of this card first before we spin it around. You don't even know what card it is. She kind of doesn't even know what this one is. Nope. So this one, fairly white and margin of white and around the side here by the looks of it. And a couple of wee dots in the side there. Hopefully. Not too bad. Not too bad on the back. Okay, I'm excited to front. see what this one is. So this is a first edition Gil Gl 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 Gligar and it is the Neo Genesis collection. So the two stars that can signify it is Neo Genesis. 1995 to 2010 though. Teachers. Teachers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I don't actually see a lot of damage on the top here. There is this wee sort of marking up at the top here. That's about the only thing I can see. But it is a first edition. First edition. What does that mean? That means it's a Neo Gen Genesis set. Okay. Two stars on the side there. So this is the Gligar. This is the first set of the second generation of Pokemon. Okay. So after the first lot, after Kanto, Johto. Okay. This is the Johto Pokemon. This is the first ever set they made. 
back in the year two, 2000. Okay. And that's day one. So this is the first edition. So this one, I believe, cost me £2.50. And if it has changed price in any way, I'll pop that up. So stick that up at the back there. Next up. Can I have some again? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what this is. Don't pull it so hard. You need to do it gently. So you don't scratch them. Scratching them loses marks. Okay. I don't know what this one is either. Mm -hmm. But there is a lot of white bits on it. Yeah. Like there's a big bit there. And so we've got a big massive side. white spot there. And we've got the whitening of the edges. Move the card up. Get any frame. So we've got whitening of the edges around here and up here. So that'll probably that bit of damage there will probably take it down to about six, probably seven. And we've not even seen the front yet, so. Okay, it's time to see the front. Let's see the front. I wonder what it is. Natu. Natu. Now, what's special about the card? It's the it's like the other one. What's it called again? Neo. Neo Genesis. Neo Genesis. Neo Genesis set, which uh, is. Did they first edition. First edition. I got another first edition of the new Genesis set, so we're actually progressing very far in it already, and we've only just started. This one again, probably about two fifty. Actually, probably less because all the posts that came at the one time. Nuts. But yeah, that's that's actually that looks fairly nice and we mark right there as you can see there's a wee white dot just there inside and it's a little it's at the top i think let me see at the very top there there yeah that's part of the card is it oh. yeah the wee white bits up at the top here it is part of the card oh okay so can i take it yeah put it back a wee bit so yeah, I mean, I've not even seen very much of the whitening of the edges. Maybe just a wee bit here. But that no, was pretty good on the front. It was pretty good on the front. So yeah, I'm looking at about a seven for that, which is really good, really yeah. good. Okay, so that was a good one. Good one. Now, last one, as you said, was a horsey. Yeah. You can see. It, is this like a first edition or? No, that other one's first edition. That other one's first edition. But what's what's going to be special about this? What, what have you noticed about them? The cards we've got. There's Neo, Jedi and Black Polo ones. And? First edition. And Fossil set. Fossil set. Fossil set. So they're all different sets, aren't they? Yeah. So is this one going to be a different set? Yeah. Yeah. Try and get it out nicely. I hate that he's not put them in sleeves, which is really annoying. Really, really annoying. But Whoa. we got another first edition. Neo Jedi. Neo Genesis first Horsey. Edition. First edition as well. Look at that artwork. That artwork is just amazing. Any damage? I don't want to see any. Do not see any damage on the front. There might be a wee mark just down at the bottom here. We can get right in. We can get right in. There we go. There is a wee sort of bluing there, but that could just be the underside of the yellow seeping through. Yeah. Other than that, there is virtually no damage on the front. Somebody's in my light though. And she's not even sitting properly. Come on you. Yeah, it looks like a wee scratch just there. But not much. Not much. I don't really think you're going to be able to see it in the light. Try and get... And brighten this up. See if we can get. No, not going to see it much. What about the back? The back. A uh, quick look at the back. I did not see much damage either. No. So I'm looking it at possible. Like two tiny little scuffs down there. Yeah, two wee scuff marks up there, but possibly a seven to an eight. I'm saying. That's pretty good. Because there's wee bits of whitening on the corners and the wee bit there. But other yeah. than that, there is no other damaging marks on this thing. But, amazing. Love it. So, I don't even know what the prices were for this one again. 
think this was my most expensive one. I think this one cost me six fifty. How much was the other horsey? That horsey was one sixty nine. Plus postage of about a pound, I think it was. So about three, four like pounds. So I'm getting all these cards in total for about thirty pounds. And they're probably a lot more now than they were then. But to have these cards is absolutely amazing. I'm like I'm struggling to even getting them any focus now. So yeah, um, I hope you like this first unboxing we've done on the channel. There'll hopefully there'll be a lot more to come. I was only ex I was only expecting maybe one or two of these cards today, but to get all of the ones that I got is amazing. And I'm still this the Mew. the Mew. This I love this card. It's so cute and it's so cool. Uh, that one is a really cool yeah, one. Yeah, and it's Mew 8 for any that wants to know. There's a, a number 8 at the bottom here in the corner. Oh, yeah. It dignifies it. And there's a 4 and a 5 in the other two, so that's how we know what ones they are. But yeah. Oh, I can't I'm believe... Try promo 4 and a promo 8. I can't believe I've actually got them. So, uh, the company that we're going to use to grade these, um, they are PSA certified. They are called gradedgem.com. Or is it .net? One of the two. Um, go check them out. Uh, they have a YouTube channel where they do all this sort of stuff as well. And they also um, do their submissions, videos and stuff like that on there as well. For you to see what they're actually sending. Because they do a monthly send. Makes it cheaper for everybody else in the UK to send them there. Because I did check out PSA and they were asking for over £100 for me to send one card. Wow. Yeah. No offence to the cards, but I don't think they're worth £100. No, whereas Grady Gem, I can send cards for as little as £8. Wow. To get graded, which is amazing. So, yeah, go check them out as well. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Remember, if you have, do the thing on the back there, like and subscribe. And we'll see you all next episode for hopefully a load more unboxing and Pokemon and maybe, card openings. And, and maybe we ne the next time we should actually do packets. Hmm? Once we get some, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, so see you all then. Bye. Bye.